just fitted these brackets loosely, ready for the bulkhead. And then we can start sorting out some brake pipes. So I'm probably going to need to put the bulkhead on to do that. Do a temporary fix here, sort out brake pipes. We've mounted the bulkhead panel up. We just put that there temporarily for a minute because these brackets are fitted. There is no holes for them in that. So basically I just want to mark out the holes, get them done. And also I want to make the old brake servo here just so I can see where the valve goes and the brake pipes and the flexi so I can start sorting out where they need to go on the chassis. Just makes my life a bit easier. Then once the holes are drilled and that's marked out, I can take the bits back off. This can be cleaned and gone to the paint shop. Basically, it's a brand new one, heavier material, galvanized, but it's just in, they, we had it primed as well at the same time. Obviously, it just needs to be sanded off, keyed up, and painted. Right, let's get on. Right, mainly the um, master's what servo up here. Put the master's brake servo down there. Put the old valve on there. We're not going to use one of this. But I need to make up the brake pipes. So now we can, well, I've kept these obviously for patterns for the new ones. And because obviously we're running Discovery axles, so basically what we're doing, we're running all the running gear out of a Discovery 97, out of a Discovery 1, so we can have four discs. So we've got Discovery axles. The engine is a 3.9, not a 3.5. And then we're going to convert it to a manual gearbox because it was originally auto. Basically what somebody done in the past, they just used a Discovery Run running gear auto and put it in a Defender. But we're just going to do it and do it properly and make it into a manual. I can use all these pipes as templates now. I can take each one off, make it off, and then that lot can come off. We've ordered a new valve to go on there. And then I can drill the holes as well, what we need to do. I'll just use all them pipes as reference and that lot can come back off again. Right, let's get on. Brake flexes are here. Just putting these in place. I need the caps on so I don't get no dirt in there at the moment. Then I can make up the pipe that goes down to the back of the caliper. I can do the same with that one. Get the pipe to go on here and do this part, and it's done up to there. Rear brake pipe here, ready. And the rear flex is on. So, yeah, I've sorted out brake pipes for the axles. We've got a kit, but I'm going to need to adapt it. And then the axle ones will be right. The length that one it runs all the way up the chassis into this valve might be different so and the one it runs over the top because it has to go via the valve I might have to alter that I might have to buy a real brake hose and obviously we bought a kit what was in the packet there of brake pipes but I'm just going through some of them here against the originals and I need to adapt a few of them but yeah that'd be okay we'll make it work Brake pipes from both of them on both sides. A bit of a wind to get them around, but yeah, that's them done. Looks nice and neat. I'm just running one up through alongside the chassis at the moment. That's a new brake valve, what come? Identical to the one was on there because I think that one looks horrible and I also think it was a bit weepy. And yeah, we're just going to run the brake pipe down the chassis at the moment. Yeah, what I'm going to do now is disconnect that out of the way and bolt the new one onto it so I can sort the pipes out for that and leave them roughly get them in place. <laughs> 